I never sleep. I'll never die. I always had myself figured for a player. It was a decent life. But like most people, I didn't have everything I needed. But I could always fake it or force it. Happy. Who the hell's happy anymore, anyway? Necessity brought me into this gig. A random series of coincidences that led me to what I thought I did best. I was the best. Small time. But the best. I was just trying to make it all come together. Hey, no! 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 Even then, I always knew I'd get him someday. That son of a bitch shot my brother. Every minute that he lived, I died in that hole. And that hole burned a need inside of me. A longing to see him suffer. To see his family suffer. Their torture, their agony was my solace, my ecstasy. Time lasts forever inside. Bars. Every man sits behind his own bars of his own making. Wanting to break out. Wanting to break free. One day, my new roommate arrived. And I'll be goddamned if he didn't turn out to be one of the most peculiar sons of bitches I ever met in my whole life. His name was Pascal. He could carry on a conversation without even talking. I figured I could learn a few things from this fellow. I got some serious shit going on. If you know what I'm saying. Now this here Pascal said he learned all these things from a voodoo priestess named Queenie.
When I asked him how he ended up in prison, he said that she was punishing him. And when I asked him why, he said for trying to take away her power. And if you could do that, you'd be invincible. Well, I knew right then that I'd have everything I ever wanted. crazy old conjure man had fixed me up real good. Sure enough, he gave me a gift. And with it, the debt to avenge him. I knew what I had to do. say in fact I'm not sorry and uh, I got work to do so you sons of bitches are gonna let me out of here because you want to because I've got things to do and you want to help me so it's time now, ladies and gentlemen, to get out your crayons, sign them papers, and uh, we'll all be friends. Now, uh, look who's here. My very special girl. The special one. Special girls deserve special treatment. You know, it's a very funny thing. Anybody else could run away, and, and, and God only knows what would happen to them. But when you run, 
I mean, honey, we're below sea level. The water seeps up from the ground and gets inside the walls, and uh, sometimes it looks like they're crying. And that's how I feel when you run away. It doesn't mean the same thing when other people go. I could care less. God only knows what happens to them. I haven't even said hello. How was your trip? see you. And uh, hope you're not planning to run away again because I need you. Sorry. <laughs> I want to be a good girl. What you gonna do, shoot me? You done gone and did it this time. So you gonna lay hands on all our money or else. Now this here is our money. We work hard for it. And I ain't gonna let him or nobody else take it away. If we don't get it to the bank, they're gonna foreclose on us for sure this time. That's your money? Yes, ma'am. That's all you're gonna do? That's all I gotta do. I feel better now. I feel it's the last time I see that money. You got to have a little more faith, boy. I ain't knowed how that thing got in there. Now I can make things right. I promise. You put a hex on me, and now you're gonna make everything right. I didn't put no hex on you. What's this? Well, I reckon maybe, maybe you're not. You're just a messenger. Messenger boy. That's right. That's right. I'll give you a little trim. I've seen what happens to people. That old bitch puts the green green on. Be a rat's ass. I'm gonna let it happen to me.
me, little thing. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. I got something for you to wipe, right? Hey, 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 pervert. Hey. Where's all that southern hospitality? It's all right. Come here. What do you mean to do it? You didn't do anything. He's an asshole. Get used to it. That's right, baby. Just listen to Jesse here. You end up with no past or no future. And then, right, sure, come on. I think Jess here is going to save us a little bit of time. It would seem that, uh, the orphan was released up in Nebraska in the custody of his little brother. He left a name and address and phone number with his parole officer. You send those boys to go do that. Hmm? Whatever. Listen, you ever do any fishing? What the fuck are you talking about? You know, it's a, it's a spinning, like a shiny, shiny thing they put on the end of the line and they throw it out. A lure. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, she's about the most shiniest thing that, that I own. You ain't got a word to say? Look, it's only 18 months. Only? There's no driving, no drinking, no leaving the state, right? And they can come over and give you that wonderful piss test whenever they want. I should have just done it on my time. It's fucking crazy. Crazy. Who knows? Maybe I can get a full night's sleep. Maybe I'll forget. Your ticket, boarding platform 25.
Would you just talk to me? This isn't so easy for me either. This isn't easy for you? No, it's not. What about me? I just... I thought maybe we could get off to a new start. What? What, just wipe it away? Look, I didn't mean it like that. Wipe it all away? Look, I beat myself up every fucking day for this, man. I don't need your help. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter, all right? Nothing matters. Stop the car! For what? Nothing. Start thinking. We gotta live someplace. Not in that house. No way. <clears throat> we sell it, and that's that. You help out today? Not today, boss. Are we out of work? Never a good thing. No, not me, you. You. What? You are out of work? Look, let's get out of here. This guy's fucking crazy. Oh, man. Not for you. AJ, where's Nick? I gotta go to the bathroom. leasing you jack shit, lady. I paid a down payment. I'm leasing this place. I ain't lying to you. This is fucking incredible. Who, who the fuck are you? Get out of my house. You think I'm lying to you? Yes. Maybe she's telling the truth. Are you telling the truth? What are you fucking talking about? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. for me lately. It's like I keep getting hurt by things I have no control over. Are you sure this is the place they run into you? Yeah. I signed the lease and everything. Really? Paradise Realty. I'll give you the number. You can call them. I don't believe you. 
Uh, I call myself. That's my problem. Everything's gonna be okay. Just don't worry about it. You're sweet. Mm. Thank you. Look, she's not staying here. Why can't she stay here? She's not staying here. Shut, shut up! Come on! Where's Nick? Where's Nick? Where's Nick? Mm. This is good. Thank you. So Jezebel, did you get in touch with this Paradise Realty or what? I can call my dad. We'll do that, huh? I need you too. What? Can you sleep? Like oh, shit. Busy. Why don't you let me try? Thank you. It's busy, man. Busy. Yeah. I paid fourteen hundred dollars. I did take a lease out on this place. You don't believe me? What is your problem? Look, Scott, we don't even know this girl, man. Yeah, we do, man. Just someone needs a little help. We need some help. And we gave her help, okay? She was here one night, now she's out. Scott, she's a scam, a fucking tramp, a grifter. And how do you know? Isn't that obvious? No. No, it's not. Look, just follow her around. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... Jezebel, wait! <sighs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Clyde. All night grill. All night grill. Two, two, four, Lexington. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Great.
chop off her fucking head. I ain't kidding. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Who, Queenie? So is that a no? And you've done a lot of shit for me. And I, believe me, I appreciate it, but I gotta say this is fucking something altogether different. Why don't you quit your stammering and answer my question? Are you gonna do it or not? Don't you think you're taking this voodoo shit too far? What the fuck do you think this is? A Barbie doll? A gift of admiration? She tried to kill me. I want that cunt dead. See what I can do. Bring in some outside talent. We had fun last night. We? Oui. Want some coffee? No. You look like shit, too. I feel like shit. Couldn't sleep. I was in a bad dream. All this bad shit was after me. You want some coffee? Please. AJ, I've been having the same fucked up dream for days now. Well, it's not a dream. It's my life. So when are we gonna get this place sorted out? I'm tired of this shit. Thank you. AJ something, huh? It always has been. different somehow. Everybody loved AJ. Probably was just too easy for him. Yeah? Yeah. I guess he needed just more of an edge. Go with the fast crowds, fast cars, fast trouble. Get something for nothing. You know what I mean? Exactly. I think he was just confused. Like, I don't know. Just everything bad was happening. It was fucking hell. Shit happened. Like what? I don't know, all of a sudden he wasn't Mr. Perfect. Well, I've seen men like him before. Angry at the world. 
Mostly angry at themselves, I guess. Well, what do you do if you got a real reason to be angry at yourself? why we're here. We're here to help you. <laughs> nice talking to you, Mert. You take care, Jezebel. <laughs> Bought you some beer. Mama? This is a dump. Me along with it, right? Not a bad idea. You don't like me, do you? Why'd you say that? You're always so quick to judge. I got good instincts with people. Yeah, well, I don't think you and I are so different. No? That's stuff about the realtor. Bullshit. Right? I needed a break. I was in trouble. I got desperate. We were in trouble from the day we were born. Those guys in the truck there? You know who they are? Mert Goo? Mert and Goo? What kind of names are those? <laughs> They're friends of Rex. Who's Rick? You're the one with the good instincts, you tell me. Do you want to talk? You want to listen? Straight talk, square business, no bullshit. You might not like what you hear. As long as it's the truth. Those two guys out there, they kill us. And I don't mean just hitmen. It's not all business with them, they like it. Is it worth it? It ain't about the money, AJ. Yeah, right. Rick Barlow used me. He kept me slaving for him in that stinking Rick's cabaret for years. No pay, no way to get out. And that was the easy part. So what are you trying to say? You know what it's like to be Rick's special girl? He's got it all twisted. I just took what I earned. You don't know him. You tell him one thing, the next thing you know, you tell him the complete opposite. And you don't know how you got there in time. He had a way of doing something with the time. A year would go by and he'd barely notice. You expect me to buy this? Look, AJ, I left enough money in that bus station to do whatever I want. Enough to make you understand what money can do. Help me. I'm listening.
know this is Scott. Who's calling? Uh, I need to talk to AJ. This is his parole officer. Oh, you want... Hold on a second. I'll get him for you. AJ! AJ? AJ? did have an eye. You are hot. Uh, thank you. Where are you headed, Nick? Funny you should ask that. See, initially, I was heading in one direction. Ended up someplace completely different. That ever happened to you? I know exactly what you mean. It's kind of confused as to my destination is all. Kind of lost, huh? It's one way of putting it. See, I'm sort of like AJ here. Laying low, can't leave the state, can't drive, sort of a lost life. <laughs> That's me. How will you know when you get out? I always know. I mean, AJ here, he don't know what the fuck he's doing with me. I'm a wayfaring, traveling type of guy. <laughs> don't even go there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. You're sorry? How nice for you. He's sorry. <laughs> Very nice. Look. <laughs> If I could change things, I would. That's why I'm here, man. That's why I'm here. Who's in here? You're about to make a big mistake, AJ. A big... You take care of myself, all right? You admit that you have a debt to me then, huh? Monkey on my back, man. Monkey on my back. If you want, I can leave you two crazy kids alone. I mean, I can just get the hell out of here. Leave you alone no, 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 no. I didn't say that. Don't go. Don't go. Please, please. Make it. Big mistake, AJ. A big one. You're dealing with things you have no fucking idea. And not me. A little means I a new change scar of all I've been through. Change by space cruelly of change. A friend by the pain. A fearful life. The world and by the loneliness that keeps me company at night. And the world that watches our pain in the light. We could not find a will to feed the image of nature. It's the beyond a mountain. Afraid we find ourselves look oh oh well, look no one saw what locker I put it in. As far as anyone's concerned, you're just some guy taking a bag out of his locker. How do I know? How do I know, huh? Cause I know, alright. No, what what were we talking about? And nobody saw you. What? And nobody saw you. Because I know nobody saw me. Jesus. Look. Two days from now, you'll be back in Arkansas thanking me because you won't be working in some shitty kitchen. Answering to anybody, all right? Trust me, all right? I cross that line. I might not see sunshine for a long time. Why? Parole. For what? Section 23505 of the Arkansas State Penal Code. Which is? Vehicular homicide under the influence. Who? The person I love most in this world. 
Your girlfriend? My kid brother. Everything went crazy that year. My parents fucking died in a car crash. I lost it. I fucking lost it. Look, we'll be back in 48 hours. Maybe sooner, all right? I'd trade places with him in a heartbeat. Yeah, well, you can't bring him back now. 36 hours? I can't cross that state line for 36 seconds. Well, it'll be one hell of a fresh start. <laughs> Come on. Come on, AJ. I need this. Maybe more than you do. What do you say? It was too easy. <laughs> in town. How you doing, Grimes? Hello, Jesse. Where are you going in such a hurry, sugar? Just picking my friend up from the train station. <laughs> Hi. Rick, know you're back? Yeah. Gonna see him tonight. Maybe I ought to give him a call. So what do you want to do? This is bad. Look, I'm going to talk to him. No, you don't understand. I'm going to talk to him. It's going to be OK. You don't understand. Stay here. I'm going to talk to him. Shh. Get back in that fucking car, boy! It's OK, officer. Calm down. You get back in the fucking car! Don't you move a fucking muscle. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's going on? Get out of the car, Jesse! Don't go, Jesse. Get out of the goddamn car! You're right. 
right there, baby. You spread your legs. A little wider. Wider. Put your hands behind your head and lock your fingers. Do it! This is the part you like, isn't it, sugar? Isn't it? Feel that? Hmm? You like that, don't you? <laughs> Punish him without federal offense. Know that, sugar? Ah, oh, well, fuck that, though. This is my law. It's all about you and me now, sugar. It's all about you and me. It's all mine. This is what you wanted, huh? What you want? That's right, baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. Somebody. A, a fucking cop. Do, do you realize what's gonna happen to me? I'm fucking through. You had to. He was gonna kill us both. Exactly. So, so why don't we just fucking tell him what happened, huh? Rick has him in the back of his pocket. You ran over a cop. Out here, and everyone's connected, you know? Yeah, you won't even make it to jail. Everyone's connected down here. God damn it, I'm telling the fucking cops. Shit, come on! Mess, all right? I want to know what's going on around here. Gosh, what is your problem, huh? I thought you was different. Big bad ex-cons used to get in a little trouble trying to lay it on me. Fuck you! No, fuck the both of us. How much further is it, huh? The way. Got some family around here. Why don't you help us out? Well, that sounds reassuring. Jesus Christ.
Well, uh, why don't we just take this road right here? Because that ain't the right way. Why don't you just get on out? Oh, I could throw you out. Oh, you could shut up. <laughs> yeah, I could. But I don't think I will. So, uh, how much further is it, huh? Oh, my God. Are you going to keep asking me that? Because I'm going to kill you. you. Promise? God, is crazy. Asking the same old question? No. Grimes is dead. I guess today wasn't his lucky day. You know, I think I understand what's going on. That uh, drunken old lady is uh, bringing everything right back to her. It's really rather beautiful. She put a curse on that money so it would come back to her. All you boys have to do is walk in the memo and uh, them two fellas are gonna fall right into your hands. Hey, Saul. Jesse, is that you? Yeah. Jesse. Glory. In the good name of the Lord, what are you doing back here? Oh, I thought I smelled Dorsey's cooking. Uh, it's still sweet. That is, you are. She around? Can I say hello? Jesse, I lost Dot a couple of years ago. The same time I lost Dot, the hurricane came and blew out all my crops. Sorry. Listen, Saul, I don't mean to rush you or anything, but can we borrow? Take a skiff. Sure, that skiff will take you across the lake. Thank you, Saul. First person I told that story to. And? I don't know. Somehow. I'm crying because I'm tired. Tired being. Not by everyone, everyone that knows me, but you don't me. They're not my friends who I can't ignore because I'm just friends. If they want to, I keep on begging some. One thousand, I lose my need to me to say. And words I forgot to value myself. I'm okay, I'm just tired. That's why I'm right Because nobody listens Just get down here Where did I meet you? I'm not sure Do you remember that hotel we stayed in the Bourbon Orleans? I'll get down there as soon as I can, check in Okay Listen man, your parole officers got caught looking for you Look, I gotta go <clears throat> I'll talk to you later Agent, eat! Where's your brother? Luke, it's past his bedtime. Mama's got to be up with the sun.
Oh boy, that's strong. Moonshine. <laughs> Can you hear it? Crickets. Bye. This here swing, it would talk to me. It would say, get out. As I would swing back, it would say, get. And as I swung forward, it would say, out. And I knew I had to claim my rightful kingdom. Maybe out west somewhere. I don't know. So what happened? I don't know. I knew New Orleans was the first step. I had to make some money, get a job. So I met Rick. For a while, he seemed to be the answer to everything, you know? It's as if I'd wakened from a long, dark sleep. Kind of like when I met you. Me four years to realize I was making a big mistake. We never make mistakes. We never learn, I guess. That's nice. Where'd you learn that? Oh, <laughs> just something I read somewhere. So, what are your philosophies? Mm -hmm. That's a big word. No, my dreams tell me a lot. Think they can tell us how to get out of this mess? It's not the kind of dream I'm planning on having tonight. What kind of dream you planning on having? No sense, girl. But this ain't your money. Man, your daddy pulled this money out of the ground. He ain't my daddy. Bernie Haskell ain't my daddy. You shut your mouth, girl. You live in his house. You eat his food. Your mama died, you lay in bed crying. Oh, mama, mama! They treat you just like it was one of your own. I had to lock my door every night. He may be your daddy, but he had different ideas about me. And he's a low ass son of a bitch, he always has been. You shut your mouth! You see that? Huh? Huh? You know? 
who that is? That's the Grigri. Me and your daddy go over to Queenie's house. And she take this and she put it in that bag. She put the Grigri on that. Anybody touch this bag, only bad's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, Queenie put this in that bag. <laughs> she just dropped it in that bag like that. Anybody who touches this bag, any... What are you doing here, boy? What are you doing with my sister? Huh? It ain't none of your business, Luke. AJ. What's wrong with you, girl, mixing with that pig trash? You were raised better than that? Fucking nightmare. Do you know which room? What was the name again? Let me check. That'd be great, thanks. Okay, it's room 317. It's down the hall to the left. Oh, shit. for it about now. There's right, and then there's wrong. And you know. Dead men. Three fucking dead men. Come here, Jez. Come here. I want to know what the fuck is going on, Jez. Now. Talk to me. Queenie's a low black conjure lady hereabouts. She put a curse on the money that Luke and my stepfather had to give Rick. The bag. That bag we're carrying around, it's cursed! Look, AJ, this is mine. This is my chance. 
And I ain't letting it go. Not for nobody. No. I was right about you in the first place, wasn't I? Wasn't I? It's enough to get you out of town. Why don't you just take that? Take this? Mm -hmm. Fuck this! than you think. Who? Queenie. Queenie been waiting. Been knowing you was coming. Poor little white boy. Parents dead. Brother dead. All caught up in the career trail. Queenie know. Queenie can help. Queenie can end all your trouble. Ma'am. I know, ma'am. Queenie, queen of the Kabbalah, God of the Juju and the Greer Greer, the Knight. It's my friend, the lone wolf that howls in the bayou. That's my servant. The red moon. That's my sign. Speak, and you shall receive. I'm not sure what I want. You want peace. Those souls restless to sleep at last. What souls? Daddy, your mother, your brother. All them poor souls. You think all that grief can descend on one family for no reason at all? Boy, them cartoons. Got you where you are today. My parents died in a car accident. Coincidence, huh? Accident, huh? When is you white folks gonna learn? Ain't no such thing as coincidence. Only circumstance. And circumstance is brought on by others killing your blessed kin. What? Queenie knows your daddy did wrong to a man's got power. He done great read your whole family till they ain't gonna be no more. He's got your brother now. Who? Where? Save your brother and save her too. My brother, his name's Alan John Merchant. He's... What's your story now? I'm looking for my brother. His name's Alan John Merchant. He's been missing for about two days now, and he's with a girl somewhere in New Orleans. He's here.
What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> what is that? sons many times I thought of you both standing before me begging for death your mommy and daddy already paid the price you're about to taste a piece of that Get away from him. You know, that was good what you said. That was very, very good. Get away from him! This is all happening because of your father. And he made you kill your own brother. And now... I'm gonna kill both of you. Your brother needs a haircut. It makes no sense to plan out your life. Because when all is said and done, there's probably some higher power planning it for you. 
I only realized how many signs I passed along the way. Signs that would have provided solutions. But I never noticed. Still in a strange way, my brother Nick, mom and dad, they're still with me. As for Jezebel, who knows what fate has in mind for her. I'll miss her, though.